codes and, and maybe stop blasting them off okay. and, and uh, get half this accomplished. All right, what I've done is I've made a list. So it's the Tracon has the same list. And um, they have assigned beacon codes. Now, these beacon codes are put into the, the uh, air traffic system so you can get handed off to every facility, hopefully all the way down to where you're going to go. No guarantees to workload permitting. So what will happen is um, when you depart here, have your code, which I, if you don't have it yet, I'll give it to you. Um, when you call Boston on 124.4, check in with your altitude and what you're climbing to. If you want to go to 45, 65, you want to stay at 25, that's fine. Um, I have suggested that the farming deal guys depart here on about a 210 heading. Because the heading down to both airports are like a couple degrees off, about like 230-ish, plus or minus. So instead of having one big line, have two. The farming deal guys go to the left, and the... Uh, New Jersey guys go about a 240 heading. Right. So when we depart, we're taking off on 3-2. Yeah. Are we going to turn left or do you want us to turn right into Boston? No, you just, just, just head look, out. I don't, you, you, as far as your traffic pattern uh, protocols and everything else, okay. it's not here, but when you check in, just say you're on, you know, flying 210 heading or something. But the important thing is they're going to ask you for your altitude. They're going to, they're going to verify your altitude. So just check in with your altitude. That's the one thing that I was listening to last week. People are just back and forth because the radio coverage is so so down here, obviously. So 24-4, farming deal go to 210 for a while. Then when you get past like towards Worcester or something, you can go on course. You can probably hand it off to Bradley by then anyway. You're all responsible for your own airspace clearances as far as getting going through Kennedy. Uh, 6,500 feet will put you in it. 85 will put you over the top of it. But at least you're talking to somebody or you can go around. It's, it would behoove you guys to be talking to somebody. Hopefully they'll be able to hand you off. Bradley will hand you off. To New York, right about the uh, Connecticut coastline. If you miss a frequency change out of 24.4, Bradley is 19.0. There's a flight plan drop at 9.30. If everybody thinks they're going to uh, depart after 9.30, let me know and I'll just have them update your times because your code won't be any good then. So, is there anybody in this room right now that does not have their beacon code? They're pretty good at Republic, but they are real busy. So uh, it's Air Ridge is, is the people that we're dealing with. And if I can get you uh, some names, which I think I sent out already, but uh, is it the same as last time? Uh, I still got last week's notes. <laughs> uh, I believe it is. Those going to NJX, we're going to meet up with uh, somebody named John J O N Rose. <laughs>
that flight? Well, in the uh, Cirrus, uh, it was you know about an hour and a half. Yeah, that's what uh, your other buddy was just saying. You guys kind of con divided and conquered. Yeah, I think that. Uh, Hey, I'm Christian Driggs from WastefulWater.org um, here at Ocean Air. We just got a delivery from some great pilots, as you can see. Tons of donations pouring in. Um, we still need the essentials, baby supplies, clothing. Uh, most importantly would be batteries, flashlights, shovels, cleaning supplies. Um, you know, a lot of these homes have been de devastated with uh, flooding and sand infiltration so we need to somehow figure out how to get that stuff out and just support our, our neighbors and our community here. Hi, we're down in New Jersey. This is our first trip into New Jersey but it's about our 30th, maybe 32nd plane bringing supplies between New Jersey and Long Island. Uh, as you can see, we have various supplies here and, and more still coming in. They really do need the help. There's areas that are still completely burned to the ground and they don't have any supplies whatsoever. I'd really like to thank all the donors and everybody that's helped us out to, to make this a success and hopefully they won't need our help uh, too much more in the future. Charlie, I just want to thank you guys and, and the rest of the pilots for all the help. I mean, I can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Sincerely, from Ways for Water. And, you know, hopefully we can get this to the right people and continue uh, the mission here. Yeah, get on with your lives. Yeah. Uh, it's been our honor. It seriously has. Uh, all of us just jumped. Uh, you know, I sent a little email out and, and boy, everybody just lined up with their planes and everyone's ready to go and the donors came in like crazy. Uh, There's just a small amount of supplies that we had, but, uh, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to get back to you know, just something we can do in the future. Hey, I, I could have easily it. have gone the other way and we could be calling you guys for help, right? Well, you know, you can count on us. Uh, you know, what goes around it. comes around. That's what we're hoping, yeah. It's, it's a tough one. Thanks. Yeah.